Throughout Kitsap County, we live near beautiful lakes, streams, and beaches. To keep our waters healthy, Kitsap County is using green stormwater solutions, such as rain gardens and permeable pavement, to soak up and clean stormwater runoff. Green stormwater techniques are different than traditional stormwater methods. Instead of using pipes to carry stormwater away, these techniques use plants and soil to manage stormwater on properties in a cleaner, more natural way. Hi, I'm Chris May uh, from the Surface and Stormwater Management Program at Kitsap County. And I'm here today to talk a little bit about what we're doing to uh, improve the stormwater system throughout the county. The main reason we're using uh, green stormwater infrastructure is that it's been shown to be very, very effective and much more effective than the traditional um, stormwater systems. Curb and gutter, uh, catch basin, those sorts of things work well, but they really don't um, uh, address water quality very much. And by using green, these green techniques like uh, bioretention and those sorts of things, permeable pavement, um, we're getting better water quality treatment. We're reducing uh, the, uh, the runoff volume and the, and the amount of water going to our streams and things. And more importantly, uh, maybe, uh, is we're doing it on a cost-effective basis. Um, these systems are much cheaper than uh, traditional um, pipe systems to install and maintain. And uh, really, that's you know, what we want, is something that's going to be cost-effective and really work over the long term. One common green stormwater technique is a rain garden. A rain garden is a specially built garden that collects stormwater runoff from hard surfaces such as roofs, driveways, and parking lots. In a rain garden, plants and soil break down pollutants and cleaner water infiltrates into the ground. Rain gardens absorb water quickly, within one to two days. Brookwood Lane near the fairgrounds is Kitsap County's first green street. In 2011, 10 rain gardens were built in the road right of way. The Brookwood Green Streets project happened because neighbors joined together to solve a common problem. The residents wanted to reduce flooding impacts and liked the idea of building rain gardens to protect Puget Sound. We thought this would be a great opportunity to build a group of rain gardens which can be more effective in reducing runoff than a single rain garden. It's rained a lot this winter and the rain gardens are soaking up the water. The project was a partnership among Kitsap Conservation District, Public Works Department, and the Washington Conservation Corps, and the residents. Brookwood is the first green street in Kitsap County. We'll be looking for more opportunities to build rain gardens in the road right of way. If you and your neighbors would like to be considered for a green street, please contact me, Teresa Brooks, at 360-337-7171, extension 24. You can also email me at tbrooks at conservewa.net. The Kitsap Conservation District manages the rain garden program for homeowners. Residents in unincorporated Kitsap County may receive technical assistance and up to $500 to install a rain garden for their existing home. For more information, contact the Conservation District at 360-337-7171. At the Kitsap Conservation District, you can see a green roof, rain garden, and permeable pavement parking areas. There are several more places where you can see rain gardens in Kitsap County, including Village Greens Golf Course, Poplar's Parking Lot in Silverdale, Silverdale Rotary Gateway Park, and along Geneva and Division Streets in Suquamish. The fairgrounds has two rain gardens, and permeable pavement will be installed this summer. Permeable pavement is porous and allows water to flow through the surface and then soak into the ground. It can be made of concrete, asphalt, pavers, or grid systems. It can be used for roads, sidewalks, trails, and parking lots. Kitsap County is building some roads with porous asphalt. So this is basically what's happening. We're going to, with the porous asphalt, the water is basically running right through this, this asphalt right here. So the water hits, hits the surface, it permeates through the surface, and it goes down into a location or a depth where there's contained reservoir rock. And the rock holds the water until it has the opportunity to infiltrate into the soil and thus recharge the aquifer 
Kitsap County Roads has built porous asphalt projects in Kitsap County. These projects are Canyon Road in North Kitsap and Holly Court in South Kitsap. Right now I'm at Bridal View Place in Central Kitsap near the fairgrounds. Kitsap County uh, Road Crews installed this porous pavement, porous asphalt, and they did an excellent job. We have done these test projects to evaluate their effectiveness. We want to know how well they perform and if they meet our standard of excellence at Kitsap County Roads. I have monitored the South Kitsap porous asphalt location and it is working very well. The surface here is just as strong as regular pavement and it continues to soak up water very well. Since there is no water on the road, it can reduce hydroplaning, glare, and tire noise, making for safer driving conditions. This road is held up fine in cold temperatures, snow and ice, in winter weather, we can salt and plow the road. Kitsap County has two new high efficiency street sweepers. These sweepers help to maintain the porous asphalt roads to keep our roads and water clean. Clean roads result in a healthy Puget Sound and that is good for all of us. Gordon Field also uses pervious concrete. I'm Mike Walton. I'm the executive director of the Kitsap Public Facilities District. And here in the Northwest, with the amount of rain that falls, drainage is a real issue. And so there's an extensive drain field underneath this artificial turf field to take water away from the playing surface. But in addition to that, we have one other feature which I think is very remarkable. You'll look at the apron of the field and down here is this gray concrete area. And this concrete is pervious concrete. In other words, water goes right through the concrete. Most places you'll find parking lots and other areas, the water sluices off the concrete. Here we have both asphalt and pervious concrete. Water that may fall on the asphalt will drain toward the pervious concrete, but then it'll get absorbed and it'll disappear and, and sink in through the pervious concrete. Anything that may run off of the pervious concrete goes on to the playing field in which there's even more drainage. So this is a perfect area for all weather, all day, all night. We have wonderful lights here at the field so that they can play all the way into 11 o'clock in the evening if necessary. So the drainage and the water treatment was an essential part of the design of the field. We're real pleased to have this as a facility and real pleased to have the, uh, the ability here to solve the drainage problems at Gordon Field through the artificial turf and the pervious concrete. You can see a pervious concrete parking lot and permeable paver walkways at the Silverdale YMCA. The YMCA also has nine rain gardens. To find out more about Kitsap's green stormwater projects, you can go on tours at the YMCA and fairgrounds, or visit several rain gardens open to the public. Educational signs explain how green stormwater techniques work. Information also is available from Kitsap One and on Kitsap County's website. With green stormwater solutions, we can soak up runoff to protect Puget Sound.